Hi everyone, welcome back to Karen Puzzles. So if you missed the big news, the Karen Puzzles puzzle is a thing. It's here, it's colorful, it's 3000 pieces, and it's available for pre-order right now. So in my last video, I shared the entire process of how this puzzle came to exist. And today I'm going to be solving the puzzle and taking you along with me on the way. So let's roll that tape. So my puzzle samples just came in and it's time to do the Karen Puzzles puzzle for the first time ever. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Obviously, since this is a 3000 piece puzzle, I had to get out the big puzzle board so I have plenty of room to spread out. And here we go. Oh my God, look at all those pieces. Oh, I am so excited for this. The pieces are already so bright and colorful and I can just see all of these puzzle piece shapes. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my gosh. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I put out the most perfect product in the entire world. Like, I'm critiquing everyone else's puzzles on this channel, I can critique my own puzzle too. And so I do want to disclose that something I don't love, but that I just had to go with is that there is no included poster. So you do just have to work off of the front of the box. Um, I don't think Ravensburger starts putting posters into their puzzles until maybe 9,000 pieces. I could be wrong on that, maybe 5,000, but I don't think they typically do it for the 3000, so there's no poster, but um, the box is nice and big, so you do have this nice big image to work off of. So I guess it's time to start the sorting of the Karen Puzzles puzzle. Oh, I just can't, I'm not gonna stop saying that this entire video. <laughs> All right, so the sorting took just over an hour, and I have to admit, I wasn't too precise in the sorting. Basically, I sorted out all of the edges, which is obviously what I'm gonna start with. And then in here, I basically just sorted out anything that's not just puzzle pieces. So that'll include the swatch book, these white plates, the white tray, the plant, these colored pencils and the pencil holder. And basically everything that's happening here uh, is gonna be tomorrow's problem. So it's about 4 p.m. now. I still have maybe an hour or two left of sunlight. So I think I can get the edge done before the end of the day. I'm about to put together the first two pieces of the Karen Puzzles puzzle. Okay, ready, ready? Here we go, here we go. Look at that. And actually these two go together as well. So the first four pieces of the Karen Puzzles puzzle. This is gonna get so annoying as this video goes on, but let me have my moment, okay? <laughs> Oh my God, this puzzle is gonna be freaking huge. <laughs> I have to like push all of these pieces even further out of the way just to get the entire edge done. <laughs> oh, oh my God, this is huge. 
And it figures after I spent so long very carefully turning all of these pieces over during the sorting, now like all of them are turned back around. <laughs> All right, <laughs> there we go. Okay, um, I grabbed a tape measure. I know that the measurements are on the box, but I did just want to uh, measure it right here for you guys so you know exactly how big it is. All right, so the height is exactly 31 and a half inches or 80 centimeters. And then the width is 47 and three fourths of an inch or 121 centimeters. It was definitely the right decision to get out the big puzzle mat. All right, I think that's pretty good for two hours of work. When I was making this puzzle, I really wanted it to be approachable, even for people who haven't done puzzles as big as this, and that's why it's so colorful. There's so much color separation. So tomorrow I'm gonna dig into this pile of pieces and get all of those extra things put together. And I'm just loving this. Like I tried to make my perfect puzzle and I think I did it. <laughs> I'm like not even gonna be able to sleep tonight cause I'm gonna be so excited to get back to work on my puzzle. Okay, so it's the next day and this isn't exactly how I left the puzzle last night. So last night I was watching Jeopardy and then I had an episode of the Jeopardy podcast to listen to and I was like, you know, this is the perfect length to do a little more sorting on my puzzle. So I went ahead and pulled out all of the color swatch pieces, the plant pieces, I started separating these by color. Um, this is that pencil holder. And not only that, um, I also went ahead and grabbed all of my actual props, uh, just in case, you know, I'm putting this plant together and I feel like I need a little more inspiration. <laughs> All right, it is 2.15. Um, that time lapse you just saw was two hours straight of puzzling. I think this is looking really good. I got pretty much all of the like extra things finished. So now everything that's left is just the, um, you know, the colorful puzzles in the background with the pieces on top. So as you can see, I started moving into the red section there. Um, that's what I'm gonna keep working on this afternoon. I kind of had a thought this morning that I would uh, finish it today. 
I feel like that's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> All right, it is day three, and here is what I have decided I need to start with today. So what I keep doing, like with these purple pieces up here, is I'll pull out a handful of pieces and then try to start working on it, and then I keep getting stuck because I don't have all of the pieces that I need. So what I need to do is just tackle all of these pieces that are left over here, sort them by color, because what I keep doing is just pulling out a bunch of pieces and then getting so excited to work on it. But then I get stuck because half the pieces I need are still like back here. So this morning I'm gonna do what I should have done at the very beginning and just make a rainbow and sort by color. All right, so that took about 45 minutes, but everything is so much better organized now. I think the next thing I'm gonna work on is gonna be all these purple pieces. We've also got pink and orange. We've got this dark blue coming into the light blue. We have this kind of light orange going into the yellow. And surprisingly, this tray of pieces has been the most difficult part so far. And so I decided to get all of those pieces off the board and put them in the exact same tray. <laughs> I was sitting there looking at what I had around me and I was like, oh, I literally have a tray right there. I might as well use it. Up here are a handful of pieces that I still haven't quite determined where they go. Pieces like this where you can't really see the background very well. And so that could be like any of these yellow pieces. So let's get back to it. Up there. <laughs> I just popped my camera up on its very janky uh, card table setup to get it as close to the ceiling as I could because I just took like a million promotional photos now that the puzzle is like two thirds of the way done. <laughs> oh, and look at this. I also thought it would be so cute if I pulled out the original plates as well and then I put the pieces that are gonna go in here on the plate. Both of these plates have these yellow to pink pieces, so I actually don't know which ones go in, um, go where. Also, notice how for those promotional photos, I just stuck the tray directly on top of a bunch of pieces. I have an entire um, tray of other pieces over there that I thought were too busy for the photos, so 
Honestly, the promotional photos are like 90% of the way real. I just had to fudge a couple things so that it wasn't too crazy and busy down here. All right, so it is day four of working on the Karen Puzzles puzzle, and I have officially identified the three most difficult parts. Up here, you can see that there are a bunch of different colored puzzle pieces, all kind of layered on top of each other. So I've left that until last. There are also two parts where you have this orange to yellow to a little bit of green, and then again, you have orange to yellow. So I'm basically gonna be working on all of that simultaneously because all of the pieces look very similar to each other. And then finally, these parts that don't have the sort of puzzle piece grid underneath uh, turned out to be a little more difficult than I expected, especially up here where you have two different areas that all have these pink and yellow um, colors to work off of. But I still think it is totally doable and I really do think I'm gonna finish this within, I don't know, within two hours today. All right, all of the pieces left officially fit on one piece of poster board. I just finished this uh, plate. I have that one that I'm gonna do next. Then I have the tray, and then there are just a couple, well, not a couple, a bunch of just random pieces here and there, which are gonna be so satisfying to fill in. Only three pieces left. One, two, nope, <laughs> two. And here we go, the very last piece of the Karen Puzzles puzzle. It's done, it's done! 
Oh my gosh, that was so fun. I love this puzzle so much. So the very first thing that I want to do now that I'm done is calculate my final time. I'm going to estimate my guess is about 12 hours in all, but let's see. Okay, I wasn't too far off. 13 hours and 49 minutes. And I loved every single moment of this puzzle. It's such good quality. It's so colorful. This is like everything that I want in a puzzle. And trust me, it is very doable. Even though it is a large puzzle, the different sections are unique enough that I never once had to separate by piece shape. There's enough going on all over the puzzle that I believe in you. I think you can do it, even if you've never done a puzzle this big before. All right, I just took like a million photos and videos of the finished puzzle. Now that I've done that, I think I wanna try the pickup challenge. I've never tried the pickup challenge with a puzzle this big, but I feel like Ravensburger has changed their puzzles so that they hold together so much better now. Like, I feel like I remember that they used to be a lot looser, but now this feels totally solid. So let's see if I can do it. All right, I'm gonna press everything down really, really well. I'm also gonna get up and stand on the chair because I need enough space to be able to lift this entire thing. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh no, oh no. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> um, let me fix this, hang on. <laughs> I feel like this would be easier if I had a second person here to help me. I'm worried it's just gonna keep like bending and that's what's gonna make it fall apart. Okay, take two. <laughs> I think I just have to be a lot faster this time. I just need to go for it. Just believe in myself and go for it. I did it! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, okay. <laughs> it's a little, a little rough coming down, but I did it! <laughs> that was so stressful, I'm never doing that again. So if that looked like fun and you wanna get one for yourself, this puzzle is currently available for pre-order on Amazon and they should start shipping on November 21st. So plenty of time for Christmas if you're hoping to unwrap one under the Christmas tree. If you do get one, either for Christmas or just as a present to yourself, please take a photo and send it to me. I would love to see. And definitely send me a photo if you solve it so that I can say a big good job and congratulations. So let me know in the comments if you think you would tackle it with a different strategy than what I used. And feel free to leave any questions that you have because I'm still planning on doing a Q&A video. Even after two full videos, I still have more to say about this puzzle, apparently. So your code word for the comments will be rainbow. Happy puzzling, and I will see you all in the next video.